I didn't know whether these would be my last steps. The Third Reich was about to fall, but our situation was more dangerous than ever. We were prisoners of the SS, hostages. We, the families of the resistance against Hitler. We always hoped that we would survive, that we would be saved. But we were always on the verge of saying our goodbyes. Always. It was a deep fall for all of us. A photograph from happier days. My sons, Corrado and Roberto and I. They were taken from me. All that remained was a photograph and the hope to survive, to see them again one day. I am Faye von Hassel Pürzia Biroli. This is the story of my odyssey, together with other prominent hostages from all over Europe. An odyssey between death and freedom. The ordeal began in the summer of 1944. Frau von Hassel, Pierzio Biroli. Ja, das bin ich. Sie sind festgenommen. Weshalb? Sie, das ist sicher alles ein Irrtum. Das ist kein Irrtum. Und ich bin mir sicher, das wissen Sie. Yes, I knew. My father Ulrich von Hassel was a member of the resistance surrounding Graf von Stauffenberg. The assassination attempt. But Hitler survived. Um ihre Söhne wird sich ab jetzt das Deutsche Reich kümmern. Ich will auch nicht. Bitte, ich... Ich muss mich doch wenigstens verabschieden. It broke my heart. But I even encouraged the children. Keine Angst. Geht mal mit der Tante, ja? Nur ein bisschen spazieren. Gut jetzt, genug, aus, basta, geh mal. It made the parting easier for the children. Yet I despaired. The SS was on a manhunt. A few of the resistance managed to elude them at first. Like Karl and Fritz Gerdeler, the fathers of Benigna and Jutta. I was at the window looking into the courtyard when, just like in a film, trucks arrived and SS soldiers jumped down. Seemingly hundreds, though it probably weren't that many. I can still see myself on the ladder. Suddenly there was a man with a pistol. Jutta und Benigna Gördeler? Wieso denn? Ich verhafte sie. Fertig machen zum Abfahren. These two girls' only crime was being the children of Karl and Fritz Gördeler. Wir schaffen das. But from this day on, they too were prisoners of kin, as the SS called us. The prisoners of kin were principally members of the families of those who had been involved in the plot. Uh, brothers, mothers, fathers, sisters, children. A lot of children were taken as prisoners of kin.
And one of the big intriguing questions, of course, is what did Himmler propose to do with these prisoners of kin? Heinrich Himmler, ruler over the concentration camps of the Black Order, the SS. After the assassination attempt on Hitler, his troops become the strongest force in Germany. The prisoners' lives are in his hands. In Himmler's mind, the scenario that was playing out was that he would use these hostages to negotiate with the Western powers for something or other. It was never quite clear what he had in mind at any given moment, but he would use these as a bargaining tool. But if that failed, these people would die. A time of mortal fear. For myself, for Benigna Gerdler and her relatives, for many more. I was 14 and thought my life had ended. It's something terrible. I turned 15 in a prison cell on July the 31st, the same day as my father. I cried terribly. I just cried. In the winter of 1944, the Red Army begins its assault on the German Reich. The prisoners are transported from prison to prison, camp to camp, always a step ahead of the approaching front. In early 1945, the British and the Americans push deep into the Third Reich from the west. The war will be over soon. But would we live to see it? Ingeborg Schröder and her three children were also among us. Ingeborg Schröder. Here. Herring Schröder. Here. Hans Dietrich Schröder. Here. Sibylle Maria Schröder. Here. Seeing her children broke my heart. Their father, a military chaplain, was a Soviet prisoner of war and had called for an end of the war in a radio broadcast. Frau oh, Schröder, Sie müssen völlig erschöpft sein. Darf ich Ihnen die Kinder später ein wenig abnehmen? Es geht schon. Danke. Aber das mache ich doch gern. Sie reden nur, wenn Sie gefragt werden. Frau von Hasse, bitte. Und gleich die Nächsten. Komm, geh mal auf. Schnell. Los. Obersturmführer Edgar Stiller was our jailer. He assigned us to the medical wing in the SS barracks of the Dachau concentration camp. We were always secluded in special barracks. We heard the terrible shouting and the terrible barking of the dogs. Is my father here? Sie ruhen sich jetzt besser aus, Fräulein Gödela. Wir wussten ja immer noch nichts vom Vater. We had no news about our father, whether he was in prison or whether he had made it. We were purposely kept in the dark. Und das war ja auch bewusst so. Wir sollten ja nichts wissen. Ich war mit meinem I always shared a room with my cousin Jutta. That was incredibly important at the time. We were together and would eventually die together. Stiller had treated us decently until now, so I plucked up my courage. Steht in Ihren Akten auch zufällig etwas über meine Kinder?
Frau Van Hassel, glauben Sie eigentlich, dass ich für den Kindersuchdienst arbeite? Nein. Aber Sie haben doch Einfluss, Herr Obersturmführer. Beziehungen. Sie glauben, dass ich diesen Einfluss, wie Sie sagen, für Sie geltend machen sollte? Frau Van Hassel. Wie oft soll ich Ihnen das eigentlich noch sagen? Ihre Kinder sind unter der Obhut des Reichs. Da sind sie wohl weit besser aufgehoben als in irgendeiner asozialen Familie. Deren Großvater den Führer umbringen will und die Moral des Volkes untergräbt. Ich denke nicht, dass wir noch etwas zu besprechen haben. Now I had nothing left. But I swore to myself to persevere. For my two sons and for the children of the others. Dachau concentration camp becomes the gathering site for many prisoners of the SS. Among them, a group of British prisoners of war pilots of the Royal Air Force. We'd been prisoners for five years now, my friend Wings Day and I. Twelve escape attempts, and we'd always been recaptured. Most of my comrades were executed against international conventions. Fire! Us, they left alive, for whichever reason. I'm Lieutenant Bertram James, called Jimmy, determined to escape again at the next opportunity. Alles absitz! Zügig, los, los! Our reception in Dachau bode ill for us. Los, auf geht's! Gib uns um mich! Zack, zack! Komm runter jetzt! Sofort aufnehmen! Was ist denn passiert? Hat sich der Gefangene beim Transport verletzt? Passiert schon mal. Bitte um Erlaubnis, den Gefangenen medizinisch zu versorgen, Herr Obersturmführer. Bringen Sie die Leute zu den Quartieren der Sonderhäftlinge. Jawohl, Obersturmführer. Sie haben die Erlaubnis, Leutnant. Ja, los! Los! Geh mich vergessen! Reinkommen, los! Hallo! And so we became acquainted with the so-called special prisoners of the SS. Gibt's hier einen Sanitäter? Noch mehr Leute. Es wird langsam eng. Warum bringen Sie den Mann hierher? Das ist ja keine Krankenstation. And they really were special. Colonel von Bonin, for instance. Sie haben also das Kommando hier. Herr Oberst. Nein. Ich bin ebenso Gefangener wie alle anderen hier. In dieser Uniform. Well, Colonel von Bonin uh, stands out amongst the prisoners because he's wearing full colonel's uniform of the Wehrmacht. Uh, why is a full colonel of Wehrmacht amongst this group of uh, special prisoners? Well, the answer is he'd fallen foul of Hitler. He had refused one of Hitler's more absurd orders, of which, of course, there were legion. And for that, uh, he was taken by the SS and becomes one of the special prisoners. 
Hat man Ihnen das Grüßen in der britischen Armee nicht beigebracht? Easy, Jimmy. Lieutenant Bertrand Chains. Zwölf Fluchtversuche, 890 Meter, Tunnel mit einem Suppenlöffel gegraben und immer noch dort, wo ich eigentlich nie sein wollte. In der Fürsorge des Deutschen Reiches und seines geliebten Führers. Nicht alle teilen die Ansichten des Führers. Und inzwischen schon gar nicht mehr. Wir hier jedenfalls nicht. Oberst Bogislaw von Bonny. Really quite special. Now we were imprisoned with people whose faces we only knew from the papers. The special prisoners were actually very important persons. There were generals, there were prime ministers and, and, uh, but the, and religious leaders, all sorts of people. Today, you would just play, call them plain celebrities. That's what you would actually call them. For instance, Leon Blum, a former French premier and of Jewish descent. Pastor Niemöller, a courageous theologist and internationally renowned opponent of Hitler. Kurt von Schusnick, Chancellor of Austria. Maßgebend muss bleiben, der feste Wille des österreichischen Volkes und die unabänderliche Überzeugung seiner verantwortlichen Führung, dass unser Österreich Österreich bleiben muss. Until the Anschluss. From then on, he too was imprisoned. Hitler's personal prisoner. Again, the idea was we need to keep these people alive. These are hostages. They can be used for bargaining trips with the, uh, with the Allies. Die Russen stehen südlich von Berlin. Sie werden die Stadt von der Neiße her überrollen. Da brauchen wir keine Wetten abschließen. Das ist so sicher wie das Arm in der Kirche. Ich war Pastor Niemöller. Amen. Je früher dieser Krieg zu Ende ist, desto besser. Meinen Sie? Andererseits, desto näher auch unser Ende. Wahrscheinlich. They did live in a vacuum. Um, they believed that every day for the last couple of weeks of uh, April um, 1945 really could be their last. I mean, let's not forget that several of the uh, special prisoners um, had already been executed. Georg Elzer. He's murdered in the Dachau concentration camp shortly before the arrival of the British prisoners. In 1939, Elsa had tried to eliminate Hitler with a bomb. The written order from Berlin says to have Elsa murdered inconspicuously and make it look as if he had become the victim of an Allied attack. He was actually executed uh, as some of the special prisoners were being brought into Dachau. Um, we don't know the reason why that was. May have been people trying to get even, even uphold scores, we don't know. Could even have been something as simple as sort of needing more accommodation for more important people. Gut. Kennt ihr das alle? Ja, klar. Ja, klar. Also. Oder oh, lieber Augustin, Augustin, Augustin. Oder oh, lieber Augustin, alles ist hin. Geld ist weg, Mädel ist weg. Isa Vermeeren, a fellow prisoner. She was a famous cabaret artist whose songs did not sit well with the Nazis. Now she was the sunshine for our little ones. But the horror still registered. Every day, people died in the concentration camps of fatigue, of sicknesses, or they were murdered. 
We once saw a line of prisoners, and at the end, I guess, corpses were being dragged along by four people. And a great big fat SS man shouted at us, look away, it's none of your business. It was terrible. I couldn't do anything. They were completely helpless. A few days earlier, in the Flossenburg concentration camp, Hans Dietrich Schroeder witnesses the special prisoner, Pastor Dietrich Bonhoeffer, being taken away for execution. He's hanged on April the 9th. The SS command alerts Berlin via radio transmission Assignment executed as ordered. I can clearly recall two SS men storming up the stairs, calling Bonhoeffer, step out. The door to our room was open. I don't remember him coming down. At the time, I didn't know what the name Bonhoeffer meant. Death was always only a few meters away. Das war so schön. Danke. Ja, das war wirklich schön. Hast du denn gar keine eigenen Kinder? Und ich ich habe zwei Söhne, wisst ihr? Der eine drei, der andere vier. So alt wie du, Sibylle Maria. Wir können ja zusammen spielen. Oh nein, das, das geht leider nicht. Sie sind nicht hier. Wo sind sie denn? Our comrades in the Royal and US Air Force ruled the skies over Germany and repeatedly flew over the camp. They refrained from bombing it. Not so, however, the SS henchmen. Glaubst du, irgendjemand holt uns hier raus? They were the executors, the Nazis over. Every time we heard artillery fire, we hoped this was it, the liberation. But we were always transported away from the front. Marschbereitschaft herstellen bis 17 Uhr. Es geht auf Transport. Sie packen jetzt hier Gepäck. Aber nur das Nötigste. Es wird nicht viel Platz sein. Wo fahren wir hin? Wohin geht denn die Reise, Herr Obersturmführer? Die Unsicherheit. Die We were kept in the dark on purpose. Feelings of fear, uncertainty and helplessness were our constant companions. Was ist hier los? Sie brauchen etwas Zeit. Du stehst jetzt auf und packst deine Sachen, wenn ich das sag. Ich bitte Sie, Herr Obersturmführer. Das Mädchen hat einen Schock. Die vielen Luftangriffe. Abmarsch 17 Uhr. Habt ihr mich verstanden? Oberschirmführer vom Reichssicherheitshauptamt. Then we were moved again in the middle of the night. We were horrified when we saw the normal prisoners. Buses were waiting for us, the valued objects of the SS. 
Schröder, gehen Sie doch rein zu Ihren Kindern. Auf geht's, komm weiter. Haben Sie eigentlich Kinder? Wie bringt der Gatte Sie eigentlich zum Schweigen? Legt das übers Knie. Gehen Sie rein, Frau von Hassel, bitte. Los, weiter. When we saw the men with machine guns in the bus, I suddenly lost all my will and resolve to withstand, even inwardly. I thought, just get it over with. Versucht ein bisschen zu schlafen, ja? Du. Ja. Das war schlimm. Diese It was terrible. The mass of prisoners Schlur. didn't walk, they shuffled along. So tired. And with their last remaining strength, they shuffled. Schlurften dahin. Sie gingen nicht, sie schlurften. Diese furchtbaren Geräusche der Pantoffel. The awful sound of the wooden clogs, seemingly endless. It was half an hour or an hour, I can't say. But it was a horrifying experience. That was when I truly felt the unbelievable terror and power these SS men held over people. Leute über Menschen, die habe ich da noch mal richtig gespürt. What the prisoners witnessed at the time is referred to as the Dachau Death March today. In total, more than 6,000 prisoners deemed fit to walk and work were marched southwards with the intention of entrenching there, putting them to work. As many succumbed during this transport, the operation is today called the Dachau Death March. Prisoners were already dying of fatigue on the parade grounds before the camp clerk could even write down their names. Those too weak, those who collapsed, were ruthlessly shot. The exact number is unknown, but it was surely more than a thousand. It was unreal, like a grotesque dream, a nightmare come to life. Wo fahren wir denn jetzt schon wieder hin? Wir machen einen Ausflug. Ja. Vielleicht sogar in die Berge. Das ist schön. Das werdet ihr sehen. It was true. We headed towards the Alps, as we could see from the town signs we passed in the darkness. What they do not know, the US intelligence agency, OSS, is observing the situation. For months, alarming reports are wired to Washington. Reports of an SS Alpine fortress. It was the very fact that the Bavarian and Austrian mountains seemed to lend themselves so well to guerrilla warfare, that this horrible idea, because it represented a nightmare for Allied military strategists, that this horrible idea started to gain currency. The Allied strategist's nightmare, a fortified area between Wiener Neustadt and Lake Como, filled with fanatical members of the Waffen-SS and the best remaining German armaments, jet fighters and V-2 rockets. What the Allies decided to do was to be prudent to assume, given Hitler's nature, given the fanaticism of the SS and the fact the SS probably controlled the German state by then, to prepare for the worst. The Alpine Redoubt was the worst. It was the worst case scenario that anyone could imagine. And they felt they had to prepare. A new Führer bunker is being constructed for Himmler in Hallein, Austria by slave laborers from the camps. Underground factories for jet fighters and rockets are cut into the mountains. 
And this so-called Alpine fortress is now the hostages' destination. This is really the last area in which these hostages can be placed where they're not imminently going to fall into Allied hands. American intelligence also learns of the hostages' transport into the Alps and fears the worst. The Allies were afraid of what the hostages themselves were afraid of, that there would be a massacre. They were fearing that these prominent people, Krushnig and all these people, uh, these family members of the resistance, there'd be a mass shooting and a mass killing. I think that's what they would simply be mown down and shot. There were discussions at General Alexander's headquarters regarding the possibility of sending in paratroops to liberate these people, but they didn't know where they were at that particular time. We drove all night, and in the morning of April the 27th, we reached Innsbruck. Here, the SS had taken away my boys, seemingly an eternity ago. We drove into a camp, Innsbruck Reichenau. We had already arrived a few days earlier and watched our bombers en route to the Brenner Pass to give the Germans hell. And we made acquaintance with a sadistic wretch, Untersturmführer Ernst Wader of the SD, the SS Security Service. Ah, ja, tut's weh? Tut's weh, hab ich gefragt. Tut's weh? He and his men were the type who would execute us without batting an eyelid. This contingent of SD men, they're there basically to shoot these people when the order comes. These are the enforcers of the SS, if you like. In fact, the orders were there, shoot them if it looks like they're going to fall into Allied hands. And then the buses with the women and children of the resistance arrived. The prisoners of kin, in the care of Obersturmführer Edgar Stiller. Heil Hitler, Obersturmführer. Heil Hitler, Untersturmführer. Die Gruppe wäre jetzt vollständig. Tja, die Baracke ist bereits voll. Frauen müssen zusehen, wie sie damit klarkommen. Danke, Untersturmführer. Alle aussteigen. Und mitkommen. Was gibt's denn da zu glatzen, Tommys? Ich bewundere nur die Aussicht unter Sturmführer. So? Ich kann mich auch gleich hängen lassen, Freundchen. Why don't we see to it that we get out of this hellhole as soon as possible, eh? Bitte? When these prisoners were, were talking or conversing with the SD, they had to be very careful. An odd look or, or staring at somebody too much, something like that could have resulted in instant execution. They didn't know. The barracks they assigned to us were filthy, louse-ridden and cramped. Entschuldigung. Man hat uns gesagt, dass wir hier untergebracht werden. Ich würde Ihnen sofort mein Bett anbieten, wenn ich eines hätte. Ich befürchte, einige von uns werden heute auf dem Boden schlafen müssen. Ja, dann werden wir aber etwas enger zusammenrücken heute Nacht. Nehmen Sie mein Bett, ich lege mich auf den Boden. Oder Sie nehmen mein Bett. Danke, aber ich schlafe lieber auf dem Boden. Lieutenant Bertram James, Royal Air Force. 
meine Freunde nennen mich Chimbo. Bitte, nehmen Sie meine Kaputte. Hier. Nehmen Sie meine Decke. Gentlemen. A welcome change. But something was going on here. So let's say this is Innsbruck. And here, it's roughly, is Milan. Now, the Americans have probably made it to Milan already, and maybe even Genoa. So this would be our route. In the spring of 1945, the Allies begin their crucial offensive in northern Italy. Most of the German units retreat to the north, towards the Alps and South Tyrol. The same place where the SS is bringing the hostages. In the last days of the war, the situation in South Tyrol was very complex because there were tens of thousands of German soldiers willing to fight. While the Allies moved north to join up with those Allied troops who were pushing southwards through Germany and Austria. And at the same time, Italian partisan groups in the region tried to conquer strategically important positions. So it was a very confusing and difficult situation. Three days over the Brenner Pass. Now that's not going to happen. If we have a chance, boy. gentlemen, yeah. Nehmen wir besser diese Karte. Am Brenner sind schon viele militärisch gescheitert. What do you mean, we? Ihre bisherigen Versuche waren ja nicht gerade erfolgreich, oder? This Italian partisan general was not exactly my cup of tea. General Garibaldi is a name, of course. First and foremost, he's a name. He's the grandson of the great Giuseppe Garibaldi, the liberator of Italy in the 19th century. And that's one reason why I think he'd been taken special prisoner by the SS, uh, alongside all the other big names. Uh, uh, he could be used as a hostage. Wenn Sie einfach davonlaufen, James. Fahren Sie deutschen Soldaten in die Hände, die, sagen wir, sich gerade auf einem unkontrollierten Rückzug befinden. Oder wüten den italienischen Partisanen. Welche Variante bevorzugen Sie? Keine von beiden. Deshalb frage ich auch nicht Sie. Im Gegensatz zu Ihnen, Sir, kenne ich mich in meinen Alpen sehr gut aus. Ich habe meinen Weg immer schon allein gefunden. It's your choice. What to make of this man? I didn't know. Having him and Italian partisan groups as allies could have its benefits. We would cross areas in which they operated. South Tyrol. That much Obersturmführer Stiller had revealed. Obersturmführer? Von Bonin? Ich würde Sie gern sprechen. Allein. Sie haben ja nicht das Kommando. Von Boni. Was kann ich für Sie tun, Oberst? Lassen Sie uns allein, unter Sturmführer. Sie haben hier gar nichts zu sagen. Lassen Sie uns bitte allein, unter Sturmführer. Was wollen Sie? Ein Weitertransport über die Alpen ist zu gefährlich. Sir? Die Amerikaner und Briten kontrollieren den Luftraum über den Alpen. Wir würden ein ideales Ziel abgeben. Das lassen Sie mal meine Sorge sein, Oberst. Sie sind ein Zyniker. Sie wissen genauso gut wie ich, dass der Krieg bereits verloren ist. Das ist Defetismus. Deswegen sind Sie hier. Und dafür kann ich Sie sofort erschießen lassen. Ich schlage vor, Sie kontaktieren das Oberkommando der Heeresgruppe Italien und verhandeln die Übergabemodalitäten. Schlagen Sie also vor. Nur, meine Befehle sind andere. Und im Gegensatz zu Ihnen befolge ich meine Befehle. 
Was macht das für einen Sinn? 130 Menschen, Frauen und Kinder zu opfern. Wenn wir in einem Militärkonvoi den Brenner überqueren, dann schießen uns die Jabos ab wie die Hasen. Ich habe einen Marschbefehl. Alles andere wäre Hochverrat. Ich schlage vor, Sie gehen jetzt in Ihre Unterkunft und stellen Transportbereitschaft her, Oberst von Bonin. Sie hatten Ihre Chance. Hoffen wir mal, dass Sie Ihre noch bekommen, Obersturmführer. On the night of April the 27th, Stiller hustled us back into the buses. It's about enough to liquidate us all. Garibaldi was right. Is he? We stand a better chance if he comes with us. Perhaps, but I don't trust him. I was practically at the end of my rope and had to keep telling myself, don't give up. Vera von Schuschnigg, with her little sissy, sat in front of me. She had been born in a concentration camp. Thank you, Frau von Hass. Aber gern doch. Das Kind hat noch nie etwas anderes gesehen als Konzentrationslager. Das wird sie aber. Bald. Haben Sie schon Nachricht von Ihrer Familie? The vehicles had narrow slits in the headlights, but a pilot can still see these clearly from above, especially in a whole column of vehicles. Aber eines Tages beschloss die schöne Königstochter, am Brunnen zu spielen mit ihrem goldenen Ball. Und weißt du, was da passiert ist? Nein. Der goldene Ball ist in den Brunnen gefallen. Die Königstochter weinte bittere Tränen. Mutti, waren das gerade die Amerikaner da oben? Hans Dietrich, die sind doch jetzt weg. Und der Ball auch? Oh. 
My mother was a wonderful storyteller. She always told me stories in order to distract me, so that I would get away from my ideas, the shots I might have heard, so that I could let it all go. Mother. Mother tried very hard to keep everything that hinted at danger as far away from us as possible and to keep us calm. It must have been very difficult and demanding for my mother. She always had a shoulder for me to lean on. Always. Our convoy laboured up the mountain roads to the Brenner Pass. Alle bleiben im Bus und verhalten sich ruhig. Best spot for a break. We sit in ducks here. That's most likely their plan. There couldn't be a more dangerous spot to halt. The Brenner Pass was the principal route, land route between northern Italy and, and, and the Reich and Austria and the Third Reich. And throughout the Second World War, it had been very, very important. It had been heavily bombed, and even in these last days, it was being bombed to, to stop supplies running between the North and the South, essentially. Aufgepasst, wir machen einen Zwischenstopp. Einer der Busse hat einen Motorschaden. Sobald der behoben ist, geht's weiter. Sie bleiben alle im Fahrzeug. Das ist ein Befehl. Sollte jemand auf die Idee kommen und verschwinden wollen. Wenn nachher also irgendjemand fehlt, werden alle, ich sage alle, dafür büßen müssen. Wirst du wohl im Schlaf verloren haben. Danke. Bitte. So, I reckon they're banking on our bombers raking the Brenner Pass again and flattening us. Their hang grenades will take care of the rest. It doesn't make sense. Was macht denn noch Sinn in diesem Scheißkrieg? Die wollen längst nur noch ihre Haut retten. Die brauchen uns. Lebendig. Wir. Wir sollten hier alle abbauen. Wir würde ihren uns abknallen. Und wie wollen sie das machen? Einfach mit allen Frauen und Kindern zur Tür hinaus spazieren? Und dann? Allein. Wie mutig. Erzählen Sie doch nichts von Mut. Wenn Sie jetzt fliehen, dann riskieren Sie nicht nur Ihr Leben, sondern unser aller Leben. Das muss Ihnen bewusst sein. Ihnen tut doch hier niemand was. Wir sitzen schon fünf Jahre in diese verdammten Scheiße und die Hälfte unserer Männer ist tot. Captain. 
Captain. Wings. Denken Sie doch an die Kinder. Jimmy? James? Wir sind doch die Ersten, die sich hier abknallen wie die Ratten. Und der Bade warte nur auf seine Chance. Deshalb bleiben wir hier auch alle dran sitzen. Will the hostages manage to escape the mortal danger? Das ist doch sicher eine Falle. Wenn ich ein Zeichen gebe, kommen die Frauen und Kinder. Die anderen bleiben sitzen. 